لكن تحديت الظروف وخذتها وحدي صبورا مستعينا بالصلاة كم مرة عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أساء محرمتها وكم كرهت مصابها سعود بن عبد العزيز بن محمد بن سعود entered into Mecca okay now we're gonna explain from their own testimony how they entered into Mecca because like I said they, they already declared that they were worshippers of graves and the righteous like 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 the other you know they accuse everyone to be worshippers of, of graves and stuff so Suhid ibn Abdul Aziz entered now he's entered he makes the people of Mecca write a letter obviously it's coerced but what it will prove is that prior to going to Mecca they slaughtered other areas as well but I'm fast forwarding a bit but I'm just showing you this is clear testimony and proof that they declared all those provinces around them as mushrikun when they said that they committed shirk to them that was uh, irtidat that was apostasy so for example now we as a general ruling say anyone that worships other than Allah or calls upon other than Allah has committed shirk but not every person that commits shirk or kufr is a kafir because you got the impediment you got the mawana Okay, so let's get into this letter now. This is in Durar Sunniya. Okay, this is in Durar Sunniya. And as you can see on screen, it mentions and this is the letter that the people of the scholars of Mecca wrote after they entered. We're going to show you how they entered, but let's go into the letter to show you that they declared all of those areas around them. Because when we get to the story, we will show you after this that every single province and area that they entered, they declared them as Mushrikun. This is proof. And this is written by the scholars of Mecca after they entered into Mecca. Okay? And he mentions, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. That all praise is to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. That we, the scholars of Mecca, testify. Okay? We place our signatures upon this. Okay? That this religion, okay? That this religion, that Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, and which has been called, okay? Or which has been sort of yeah, which has been called to by the Imam of the Muslims. Subhanallah. Al so according to <laughs> Saud ibn Abdul Aziz ibn Muhammad, Zui, he declared himself as the Imam of the Muslims. Subhanallah. Al that the Tawheed of Allah and the negation of Shirk, which is mentioned in his book, is the truth regarding there's no doubt. So what did he say? I listen to this with the arrows over. This is very shocking. He says, "Ma waqa in Mecca." What likewise? What took place in Mecca? Okay, what just took place in Mecca? What they just did? We're going to get to how they got into it. Wal Medina. So they went to Medina previously to this. Okay, Sabakon. Okay, and in Egypt, and in Syria, and in other lands. Okay, in other lands, up until this time, are. Uh, Types of shirk, meaning they perform types of shirk. And what is mentioned in this letter, in this book, it is cover. And what does he say? It makes their blood and their wealth permissible. It makes their uh, blood and wealth permissible. And they enter the hellfire forever. Okay? And he who does not enter into this religion, nor act upon it or provide support, nor show enmity against his opponents, according to us, is a kafir. Okay? And in the last day. And it is obligatory. SubhanAllah, look at this. This is, wallah, and this is shocking. And he says, it is obligatory upon the Imam of the Muslims, so Saud ibn Abdul Aziz ibn Muhammad ibn Saud declared himself to be the Imam of the Muslims. Along uh, with the Muslims to fight and kill such a person until he repents to Allah from that which he is basically upon and proceeds to practice his religion. Now you got the signatures of those who wrote this letter. Obviously, coerced, they've just taken Mecca. We're going to show now how he entered, Me how they took Mecca. And he mentions Ashhadu Bidalik. And now he's got the signatures, okay? I, I bear witness to this. And this is written by the Al Fakir ilallahi uh, Ta'ala, Abdul Malik ibn Abdul Mun'im. It says that it is written by Abdul Malik ibn Abdul Mul'im, the, the, the poor uh, one, the needy one. 
uh, and he's in Hanafi. And the Mufti, uh, who's the Mufti of Mecca. Okay, so this Hanafi was a Mufti of Mecca. Okay, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, forgive him and, and, and pardon him. Then others that signed this declaration and other signatures are Muhammad Saleh bin Ibrahim, so the Mufti of the Shafi'is in Mecca. Then you have Muhammad ibn Muhammad Arabi al-Banani, the Muftis of the Malikis in Mecca, and various other signatures. Very, very, various, various other signatures that are on here. So subhanAllah al-Azim, you see that these individuals are going around slaughtering the people and Al even testified from their own mouths, okay, that what they did in Mecca and in, in Medina and in Egypt and in Sham and in other lands are types of shirk mentioned in, in this particular letter. So, you know, what they wrote before, as you can see on screen, those who worshipped uh, the, the words that make of the of the of the mushriks of the people of of, uh, of uh, the to the Turkish state and the grave worshippers like the people of Mecca. So you see, they entered Mecca now and they got the signatures. You know, coerced the the muftis and the ulama of Mecca to write this. They were mushriks and those who were upon this, like the people of Mecca, in Medina, Egypt, etc. Um, it was allowed for them to shed their blood and take their property, uh, and they're going to enter the hellfire forever. And whoever does not listen to this, whoever does not enter upon its religion, nor act upon it, nor provide support to his people, nor show enmity. So remember, not, not even so you got to show enmity towards his opponents. Uh, whoever does not do this, then he is a kafir, uh, according to us. Look at that. Who else did this, by the way? Bismillah. Who else did this, by the way? The Wa'ish, ISIS. ISIS did this, didn't he? So. This is very, very disturbing, isn't it? And we haven't even got to the four years what they were doing and, uh, in terms of the massacres and stuff. So let's carry on now and show you how they entered into Mecca. As you can see, we've got on screen and the one and merged, and he mentioned in 1220. Okay, this is in 1220. That he mentions that uh, there was a drought. Okay, there was a drought and an embargo, and no, nothing could enter uh, into Mecca. Um, from the direction of Yemen, Tihama, Hijaz, and the Najd, because they were basically under control of the Najdiya. And it made the situation in Mecca serious. So the people even started eating dogs, and many people in Mecca died due to hunger. Okay? Many people died due to hunger, etc. So they basically, coming back to me now, basically, in order to enter Mecca, uh, as you just read that, you know, all of them were mushriks in Egypt, in Syria, etc. And whoever does not even support us or show enmity, you see, it's not just uh, worshipping trees and stones and committing shit, just even if you don't show enmity and show and support us, then he's a kafir as well. It mentions that they headed towards Medina. Okay, they headed towards Medina. Look at this, look how vile they were. That Saud, okay, went and to the direction of Medina. And they, on the way, they took some Ghanima. So on the way, they just basically, because I told you, anyone who wasn't part of their territory were Kuffar. فَغَنَمَ فِي طَرِيقَهِ And they took Ghanima on the path uh, from this particular wadi, and they took loads of Ghanima. So on the way, obviously to Medina, because you can't take Ghanima from Muslims. You can't, it's haram. But yet, yeah, the next everyone was fair game. Okay, so they took some Ghanima on the way. So when they got to the close of Mount Uhud, they saw the, the, the horses of the Turks, of the army of the Turks. So they basically uh, attacked them and killed about 30 of them. And then the army, the Turkish army ran away. And uh, what did Su'u do? He went to uh, a certain place and uh, was, <laughs> subhanAllah, I think this is just shocking. And they went and burnt some palm trees and killed men. And then they went to another place, Fil uh, Harra. Uh, and they went there and obviously um, besieged them and granted them uh, safety. So then thereafter they went to some other place and they cut some palm trees and destroyed their houses and uh, took some ghanima, etc. What? And then the Muslims split it amongst themselves, amongst the men, etc, etc. So, you see, they went to uh, Medina as well. So when he said what we did before in Medina, so they went to Medina and then they went to Mecca. And they took obviously the uh, uh, they went there and just on the way they took some Ghanima, can't take, so they declared them as Murtadun. So you can only take Ghanima from Murtadun and Kuffar. 
Um, so yeah, so they were mushrikun, they killed 30 of the Ottoman Turks, then they went into another place, they, bur they, burnt, uh, they, they cut the trees, they burnt, then they went into another place, and what did they do? Um, yeah, yeah, then they went and you know, destroyed some houses and took some ghanima also. ليس الغريب غريب الشام واليمن إن الغريب غريب اللحد والكفن إن الغريب له حق لغربته على المقيم في الأوطان والسكن سفر بعيد وزاد لا يبلغني وقوتي ضعفت والموت يطلبني ما أحلم الله عني حيث أمهلني وقد تماديت في ذنب ويسترني تمر ساعه 